Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez from Shoot With Ray. As you can tell, there's Shoot With Ray everywhere on the screen, right? Um, super excited to be on this video because first and foremost, I have my Viltrox 135. Uh, this is now a new addition to the kit, a new addition to the whole arsenal of lenses and cameras that I have. And I can't wait to start shooting even more with this lens. And today's the day, uh, April 16th. The 35 1.2 has dropped. I'm going to get my hands on that lens one of these days. But if you're watching this past that, then you're too late. But go and, go and get that 35. Go and get it. Um, in this video, this really quick video, I, I, I'm not doing any fancy recording or anything like that. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to upgrade the firmware on your lens. Why am I making a video about this? Because I had to upgrade the firmware on my lens, being that I just added it to my application. So the first thing you're going to do when you have your Viltrox lens, you unbox it, you watch it for like three hours, um, is you're going to download the app to your phone. Once you download the app to your phone, you're going to add this device, this lens or the lens that you have to the list of devices on that app. So when you do that, you need to turn on the Bluetooth function on your camera. Locate the settings on your camera, look through the menu, activate Bluetooth. Once you activate Bluetooth, then you go ahead, attach the cam, uh, the lens to the camera, turn on the camera, make sure Bluetooth is on. Once you do that, you're going to go over to your app and then you're going to add the device. Uh, so when you open up the Viltrox app, you're going to add the device to your uh, app. So follow the instructions there. Now, once that is done, there's going to be a little... Uh, notification that pops up that says that you need to update your Viltrox lens. If you happen to have that notification, then updating is really, really easy. But the way you do it is via cable. Now you're probably wondering, how are you going to do that? Well, if you didn't know, Viltrox lenses have a USB-C slot, and I'll show you that right now. So as you can see, there's a USB-C slot that's reversed. Sorry. Right there, your lens needs to be powered on in order for you to do any update, any firmware update and things like that. So really simple. And before you guys attack me on the comments about how I'm just exposing my lens like this and dust and all the cat, it's okay. This is a tutorial. Just worry about that. Don't worry about anything else. <laughs> Shout out to Viltrox, guys. Viltrox is disrupting the lens market right now. They're doing amazing. They're coming out with amazing lenses for all camera brands, Nikon, Sony. Uh, Shout out to their lab series. This is just insane. So if you're not in tune with Viltrox, go follow them on social media. Go follow them on Facebook, on their website. Check out the amazing sales that they have on their lenses right now. Viltrox is doing great things. All right, guys. So real quick, when you have your USB-C wire, you're going to connect it to the lens. Just like so. After that, you're going to connect it to a power box. Whatever other end, most likely it's going to be a USB-C. You're going to connect it to the power box, and then you're going to connect this to the wall outlet. Just make sure it's one like for your cell phone or something like that. So I'm going to use this Anchor uh, one, and I'll also link this in the description. So at least you can have one that you can rely on. So just a small little power box just like this. Connect the USB-C. Connect this to the wall. Make sure it's plugged in. And then once you do, the way you'll know that this is powered on is this little screen right here will turn on. After that... What's going to happen is you're going to then go back to the app on your phone and you're going to go ahead, open up the, the Viltrox app, make sure that you connect via Bluetooth. Once once you've connected it, you know, once you've attached that lens to your app, you're going to make sure that you then connect one more time via Bluetooth to your lens because it is powered on. So then once you do that, it's going to give you a little notification saying that you need to update the firmware. You do that, click that button right there. It's going to ask you to confirm that you are connected to power, that your lens is on. And once you do that, you check the box. It's going to ask you to check it within six seconds. So it gives you like a little time limit. You check the box, you hit continue and go through with your firmware. Make sure this doesn't turn off. Make sure this doesn't get unplugged and make sure you don't close out the app during your firmware update. So nothing goes wrong. Once you do that, it's going to confirm the firmware update and you're good to go. You have a brand new firmware on your lens so that way you can get the latest features and the latest upgrades of that lens through Viltrox. One of the most amazing and fun features and gimmicks to have is the fact that you can customize the screen here for the boot up option. Uh, it's an option that I really, really love. To me, the fact that I can put my logo, shoot with Ray, right in here when it turns on, that's amazing. So 
things like that are cool features that you'll get with your firmware upgrade. So if you just got into the Viltrox world, if you just got yourself a Viltrox lens, or if you still have one from older and you haven't updated it, now's the time to do that. And I've just given you the instructions on how to do that. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I have a whole bunch of videos like this, lighting, portraits, BTS, photo shoots, and more business advice and more on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. If you have any questions or if you just want to shout me out, go down in the comments and do that now. As always, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. I will see you in the next one.